Okay, we're here going to talk about Planet Mule First Impressions. Planet Mule is a free online version of um, Dan Bunton's um, classic game for the Atari 100 Mule. But now it's available for the Mac and PC as a download, and you can play with people online. Um, many, many people have been waiting for a game like this for a long, long time. Um, so, this is our first impressions. You can see when you, after you download and you bring up the screen, um, it's retro looking but not retro like Atari 100. It, it looks good. Um, um, now, there is an option to play online, which I'm not going to explore right now, but I am going to explore the play local button. I'm going to skip login, go directly to the game. I'm going up here and you can't see, but I'm, I'm clicking on a new game. I'll bring it down so you can see. Requires two. Okay, uh, we won't want to turn it. We just want training, and we want 12 rounds, just like in the real game. And I'm going to say okay. And it's going to now. It's going to ask us. How many people we want to play? So now I'm going to reconfigure the screen so we can actually capture the full game. So wait a second. All right, so we're back, and now we're looking at Planet Mule. This is the full game screen. Now, it says press J to join or add AI. So, AI. so I'm going to join for me because I want to join. That's me. And I'm going to add AI, this one, A, and it's Dan. And then you press um, A again, and it's Bill. And you press um, A again, and it's Jim. Now, I know Dan and Bill are both the names of members of the Bunton family. Um, I don't know about Jim, um, but that's a really cute touch that they went and um, took the names of the Buntons, the people who made this guy. I heard that the, the Buntons um, are on board with this remake, um, which is very nice. So now we're going to start. Now here I say press button, and that's my um, space bar, and we're starting Mule. Now if people remember what, what 800, Atari 800 version Mule looked like, this is very similar but with better graphics. So here we're on the Irata. Irata, I'm sorry, which of course is Atari backwards. If anyone recognizes, this is the music. But, you know, a brand new ver almost a retro evolved version of it. I'm going to press the spacebar to go, and now when it, the screen comes up, I'm going to select a plot of land. Here it goes. I'm going to try to get a land grant on the river. Got it. Now we just got to wait for the other guys to uh, select their land. I'm sure they'll select the river piece because, well, they didn't. Um, not exactly. We'll see what the AI actually gets. Um, interesting. Looks like that might be a Christite plot or something. All right, well, we st we're going to start, and I'm going to develop mine first, which is... Starts in three seconds, because this is, you know, made to be online. Now, I'm walking around, I'm going to go buy myself a mule. Looks a lot like mule, and I'm going to outfit that mule for a farm. And then I'm going to go outside and actually uh, go to my plot and place it. Done. Um, the four uh, four little wheats there make it look like it's actually going to do well as a farm. And you, can, if you look around on the screen, you'll see that um, a little white dot will pop up every once in a while, and that white dot, or actually a blue dot, um, and um, that is uh, just like the um, uh, just like the original. Oh, my time is up! I didn't get a chance to go back in. So, as you can see, this is a very, very nice, close version to the original. All right. So now it's the, the end of the last computer's turn, and we'll watch what it looks like when you actually when the um, harvesting the production for this month comes up. Uh, and you see the little colored dots, not dots at this point, but I mean rem very reminiscent of the original mule. Um, and now we're, we'll go into the trading portion. Oh no, planetary pest eats all food in one plot, which happens to be mine. Um, so you see there are the random events. Um, I have nothing to auction in the Smith or auction, but um, apparently the green guy does. Um, so I'm wrong, I was wrong that wasn't Chris Dite, that was Smith or um, for that plot. 
Now we're not going to buy any Christite. We'll let him sell. But as you can see, um, the selling portion is very close to what it was like in uh, the original Mule. Again, the graphics are totally di different, but this game does have the feel of the original Mule. So here's the summary. So here's the summary screen at the end of the. Session, and you'll notice that um, um, it it works a lot like the original Mule. The music is there. My first impression of this version of Planet Mule is that it is a very well done game and a welcome, welcome, welcome uh, uh, remake of the original, especially that you can play online. We'll explore the online portion in another episode, but my first impressions are, this thing kicks ass. Thanks.